If you're looking for a budget-friendly metallic watercolor set to use on your cards, this video is for you. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel and Arctic sent me a set of metallic watercolors. This set comes out just in time for the holidays but can be used year-round with bright colors and a glittery effect. Let's swatch out the colors so you can see what comes in the set. This new set of metallic watercolor paints from Artix comes in this nice slim profile carrying case. There's eight colors. There's a magnetic closure that keeps that lid shut tight. And you can see the pans are large pans, which is great for a larger size brush if you're really getting in there and wanting to cover that whole brush with paint to do a larger area of watercoloring. I absolutely love the colors that are offered in this set. You get like an entire rainbow as well as kind of a teal color and a silver or pewter looking color as well. You can see there's a little well next to each pan. That's for your finger to go in there and pop the pan right out so that you can remove these and put them in any color order that you want. And when you pop them back in, there's a nice magnetic click that you know it is clicked in and is going to stay. So just look at how creamy that paint looks on the brush itself. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's a nice, thick, opaque, beautiful color with tons of a sort of glittery or iridescent shine added to it but it is all the in the color so there's no separation when I put it out on the paper so on the left hand side of this white watercolor paper I am going direct to the paper with the paint on the paintbrush and then I dip it in a little bit of water to show you what they look like when you kind of add some extra water and really brush them out. Either way, tons of shine and absolutely beautiful colors even on just plain old white watercolor cardstock where they absolutely pop is on a dark color cardstock. So I am using black watercolor paper here and it's hard to tell because I have so much light on this, so it's hard to see that the colors are still super, super bright. When I tilt it in a few minutes, you'll see those colors are just as bright, so check this out. Once you tilt it where there's not so much light hitting it directly, you can see those bright colors, but then when you tilt it the other direction, you can see the iridescence and beautiful glitter effect that you can achieve with those colors and these paints. Now let's use these metallic watercolors in a few different ways on cards. First I'm going to cut out the Spellbinders Flourish etched dies, the ornament dies, out of silver mirror cardstock. So I am cutting out a few different ornaments and then I'm lining them up on some black watercolor cardstock so that I can see where I want my color to go. And then I'm going to get a bunch of the metallic watercolor paint on a large brush and I'm just going to brush it back and forth. So this is going to be my backdrop. I'm going to leave the rest of the cardstock black on the top and the bottom, but I'm going to have these beautiful metallic watercolor paints in the center where I'm going to place the ornaments on top so that each of them has a different color behind them. And you will just be blown away how smooth and creamy they are, how opaque you can get them to be. Uh, if you use more water, obviously it's going to thin them out, but they still really cover the black cardstock. I mean, check that out. Yes, I'm adding a ton of paint here because I really want to block out the black in the background, but you can see just how easy it is to get great coverage on even black watercolor paper, which sometimes can be very difficult. So you can use as much or as little water as you want to achieve different effects with this, but either way, the paints themselves are really creamy. And for the price, I am super impressed with the quality of these paints. And just check out that color and then the shine, depending on which way you tilt the paper. Next, I'm gonna use a little Ultra Bond liquid glue in the pen format behind these silver mirror ornament die cuts that I've already die cut out. I'm gonna just place a bunch of liquid glue behind them, 
because especially paints and inks and things like that, they tend to not grip with anything else. Plus these details are so fine in the die cuts that you really need a good pen tip with liquid glue to apply some adhesive behind them. And then you can see I just move them around until they're straight and then lay an acrylic block on top and really just let them dry. I was also able to die cut out of the mirror cardstock three ornament caps and then I'm just adhering those down with the liquid glue as well. So the last thing that I want to do is add a sentiment here. So I am taking a sentiment sending cheer stamp set and dies from the stamp market. I'm stamping it in Versamark ink and covering with Hero Arts Silver Sparkle Embossing Powder, which is going to really accent nicely with the black watercolor cardstock. I'm using a strip of that that was just extra because the size of that was five by seven to die cut and stamp my Marion Bright and then just pop that up on some black foam squares. And then I'm gonna use the rest of that mirror cardstock. I'm just gonna put some adhesive all around the open die cuts in the middle and just mat my panel right on top. And just look at those colors. I cannot believe how opaque and shiny they can be with just adding some to a watercolor background. For this card, I did cut out of white watercolor cardstock some ornament dies. These are from my favorite things. And I'm just going to paint each of the bulbs a different color. I'm also going to paint the edges of the bulb so that you don't see any white on the edge there from the die cuts. But just check that out. This is such an easy way if you don't have a ton of different colors of say a metallic or pearlescent cardstock, this is a great way to achieve die cuts that are shiny and colorful in eight different colors. So I did cut out six different Christmas bulbs and I'm going to color them with six different colors of the metallic paints. And again, super easy to apply, very easy to get an opaque look with that iridescence and glittery effect to it. I absolutely love these paints. I can't get over how well they work. So then I just added a little bit of glue to the edges here and I did die cut out some of those caps again out of silver mirror cardstock. I am applying it with that liquid glue once more. This is just an easy way, like I said, to achieve different colors of a metallic look, which again for the holidays is wonderful, but like I mentioned before, these can be used year round for lots of different things, whether it's creating backgrounds, creating die cuts, or coloring in images with these metallic watercolor paints. And once all my caps were done, I did also apply some filaments to the die, to the inside of the bulbs as well. And then these are strings. All of this is included in that die set. So I'm just using some liquid adhesive to adhere down two separate strings, one on the top of an A2 piece of white cardstock and one on the bottom. And once those strings are in place, then I'm just going to use a white foam square under each bulb to pop them up. So you get a little bit of dimension as well. And the little white foam square fits perfectly behind the bulb and then allows you to rest the cap on the string, over the string, whatever kind of works for your arrangement. I just wanted to be sure to include several different colors of that metallic paint on this card so that you could really see the range of colors. And again, when you tilt it forward, you really see the brightness of the color. And then when you tilt it back, you see the iridescence or glitter. So I'm using that same stamp market set that I'm going to use for the sentiment. This time I just stamped it in black ink and cut it out and then popped it up in the center of the card. These cards are super easy to make and these paints are so easy to use. You'll be so happy with the results with these because of the metallic finish and the beautiful colors. Even if you're a beginning watercolorist like me, you can find so many fun ways to use this new metallic watercolor set from Artix. I will have links 
in the YouTube description box under the video for you to check the set out. If you haven't seen my video featuring the Artix acrylic marker set, check that out over here next. As always, I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. Or enjoy... Mm, if you haven't seen my... Uh, mm, that was so fast. Like Guinness Book. <laughs> Yay! <laughs>